Hey everyone, Darren Scott here. First of all, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Hope you can enjoy your families and friends and loved ones. And uh, remember our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ during this uh, wonderful time of year. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we haven't updated you guys in, in quite some time and I wanted to do this update to kind of tell you guys some of the reasons behind that. Uh, we had a, a, a teaser that was early on cut of the of the film the the oath formerly titled reign of judges that had kind of talked about a fall release and then we start we talked about a, a christmas release and uh, believe me no one wanted more than me to release this month i wanted it so bad i i, I fought for it gave everything left it all on, on the field been basically in california for the last six to seven months uh, finishing this film worked with a post uh, post person that uh, that i worked with on the pilot we agreed upon a, a set set budget uh, which i paid to complete the visual effects and everything else some of the visual effects got done but ultimately um the project was given back to me uh, incomplete and so i was facing something that was that was kind of scary actually uh, and i don't get scared but um, some of these visual effects shots were, were very intense uh, that I didn't really know how to do. Uh, but I didn't have a choice because I had to finish the film on my own. And ultimately, um, the film ended up having uh, almost 600 visual effects shots. I mean, if you know anything about post-production, that is a lot of visual effects. Um, it's upwards of um, a half a million dollars worth of visual effects work. So um, ultimately, um, I did a tally of how much of the visual effects shots that I did, you know, so I, I paid someone to do these visual effects shots, and I ended up personally doing almost 80% of the visual effects shots on this, on this movie, which, uh, which tallies to about 440, 46 shots. So if you're wondering why I have been silent um, for the last several months, this is why. It comes full circle, you know, I, I wanted to release this Christmas and we would be releasing. Uh, had I known that I was going to have to finish this film and finish the visual effects, which by the way, look, they just look stellar. I have a very, very high um, standard as far as um, what ends up in the movie. And it is, it is absolutely polished. I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out and the reactions again that's that's really what tells you um, the reactions including with people that saw it along the way I like to show uh, kind of a different filmmaker that I show my film along the way to get feedback and refine along the way and some of these people had seen it early on and could not believe what it has become uh, so in the end of it um, it was frustrating that the project was given back to me with all of this work incomplete that I had paid to have done uh, but ultimately, um, with the amount of shots that I did, I contributed personally blood, sweat, and tears, uh, over $400,000 worth of visual effects work on myself. And I did it in uh, less than a month. Had I known this, we could have been done months and months and months and months ago. Uh, but uh, gave an opportunity to the person that, that, that I had hired to, to, to help me do this. Uh, and they did do some phenomenal work. I uh, did great, amazing color. Uh, when you see it, the color palette's just um, incredible. And uh, several visual effects shots that were amazing that they that they did do. In all of this, the film is finished. I wanted to give you guys an opportunity. We are showing it privately to, um, it, it's very specific. Uh, we don't want to show it to too many at once before it's released. And everything, when we do do screenings, it's, it's under the um, agreement that um, nothing can be posted about the film until it is publicly available um, for people to see. If you are interested in hosting a private screening in your own theater or, uh, or renting a theater and hosting a private screening, that is something that we can accommodate. We have DCPs that play in theaters. Uh, we have Blu-rays uh, that play at home theaters. I just replied to this email if, um, if you are interested in hosting a screening. Uh, we do have a number of specifications. We can't do it for just you know two people or something, but um, if you have a large group uh, and, uh, and would like to do that before, we are looking to release, I hope, in February or March. This film is owed at least the valiant attempt to um, partner with a studio because it's it really is uh, that level of quality and um, I'm very confident that we're gonna have more than one studio interested. That said, um, we have cut a new trailer which is fantastic and exciting but we have not released it yet because we want to see um, which distributor we'll have because we want to put their logo on the trailer um, 
as well as the movie itself. Finally, we submitted to the MPA to have the film rated. We are projected to have a PG-13 rating, and I, I, I don't think that that will change. I hope you guys are as excited as we are that the film is complete. I hope that you get to see it very soon in theaters. Um, it would be a nationwide in the United States, followed by hopefully a worldwide release, but that will be determined by how well it performs and I'm confident it will do well. Finally, this question that we get uh, frequently is, um, are we still taking investments? And the answer to that is yes. We are taking investments in the film all the way up until the film is released. And uh, we need, if we release independently, we need a substantial amount of funds to do that. And if we don't end up uh, releasing independently, if a studio gets behind it, uh, it'll still be great to have those funds because it'll put us in an impressive position with them in negotiation wise. It's also a great reason to have a private screening. So if you know uh, people who, who may be interested, um, it also in some regards, I wouldn't say becomes easier, but it is kind of easier now that the film is finished and people can watch it in its glory and, and, and see if it's a uh, feel, uh, if it's something that they want to get behind. And most people that see it uh, love what they see. So if they have resources, um, they uh, have a high potential to want to get involved. Just this last week, we, we did a, a very small private screening and someone in the, in the group that I didn't even know would make up such an offer asked if we needed more funds. And uh, of course I, I said yes, and uh, they will be becoming investors uh, very soon. So uh, thank you again uh, for your support in this journey. Uh, God bless you uh, in, this, uh, in this Christmas season. Merry Christmas to you and yours. And uh, look forward to seeing The Oath very soon in a theater near you.